Went to get some uh, some apples. See you in a bit. <laughs> Easy as that. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make a cookbook. I've done two already. This is my third that I'm currently making. I'm going to show you the funnest part, my favourite part. The hard work of writing it is done. We're in the middle of the food shoot where I do all the food photography with the amazing food photographer Simon Smith. This is where you're going to see me plating up with flair using the most beautiful plates, bowls, backgrounds. This is dreamland for me. If you like your plates and bowls, that, especially the ones that I use in my YouTube channel, uh, on my YouTube videos, you will love what I'm going to be using today because this is incredible. So bear with me, I'm very tired. This is the fourth day of, the sh of eight days shooting. I'm already shattered, um, but let's go. Lots of food, it's great. Is that all right? <laughs> so this is Simon Smith's studio. You may have seen it in the first ever book behind the scenes video I did for my first book, Vegan 100. I was watching that video the other day and I, I think I look a bit older now, especially after four days of shoots, uh, shooting th these recipes. It's such an intense week, but it's so fun. I've got my lovely mate Mark here, have me, who was one of the first chefs I worked under when I first got my first chef's job at 15. And uh, this is prop heaven for me. You'll see me uh, literally getting so excited when I have to choose the plates, the bowls and things like that. Serving up the food is my passion. That's what I love. That's what I love doing in the kitchen is serving food beautifully. Uh, so I like doing it here because we've got all these amazing backgrounds and bowls. Um, lots of lovely food today. The next one I'm going to do now is some uh, a chickpea curry with some barras, which is like a tr uh, Trinidad uh, and Tobago dish, which is like a fried bread. It's incredible. So I'm going to serve those up now. These recipes are amazing. I can't wait for you to see the book. I'll choose the little pots and stuff to go yeah. with it. Yeah. But I want to make sure that I'm able then, if I want to post a half on Instagram, I can then cut it down. Yeah, so the two main halves, yeah. basically. The two, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that might be nice to have yeah. you coming in on that. Because that could be the uh, Trinidadian side. Yeah. Look at that. Mm. No, you didn't have copper. It's okay. Yeah. That could be the Indian side. Oh, Indian. Well, it's yeah. Yeah. Copper, yeah. It's nice for rice. You might like that for something. Street foodie, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's better, yeah. And what I kind of like doing actually with Indian stuff is if you had like a round, um, like tray. serving yeah. tray. I have one at home actually. It's got like metal, like print on it. It's oh, really yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 God, look at us. Team of creators putting our heads together. Props done. That looks really nice, like it's a street food. Maybe have that on one side. Yeah, yeah this could yeah. be the Trinidadian side. Curry. Yeah. Um, salads. Yeah. And then the breads here. Cool. Yeah. All right then. Yeah. I'm gonna get cooking anyway. Here's the bread. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> What's rolling pin in Welsh though? Rolling pin, but. Oh, it's actually. <laughs> Look at that. All right then, bit of salt. Who wants a taste? Amazing. Turmeric, and it bubbles up like that because of the yeast in it. What have I got so far? Put I didn't use the wooden tray because it's, so, it's too tall. I hope mm. one side will be out of focus. These aren't in any position. I'm just going to put those in. See, look at all this amazing stuff. Yeah, Perfect. Cool. Look at this. Should you have a quick look at that? This is the kind of set I need at home. Have you tasted one? Let's have a little taste of that. Go on. I've got clean hands. I washed them last week. Good, 
I am a food stylist. This is how you food style. Break it up. And then you've created a rustic scatter, that's what I call it. Food styling. See, but I'm learning how to do that now. Oh, see, look, look at that. That gave me the tingles looking at that. It's like you're back at the new house, isn't it? Look at that styling. Beautiful. So we're doing a nice simple pasta dish. Here's the setup. All right, so let's have a test shot of this. It's really nice, that's nice. I like that, I love the colors. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan, just for an option, vegan Parmesan, obviously. I want them to be all a bit rustic and very different from each other. Ah, that's beautiful. Look good, amazing. Well done, chef. Well done, Simon. Ah. Did a good job. Mutual pat on the back. Getting a proper shot now on my camera. If I can get it in focus, yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Okay, so next thing to come out of the oven, we got our apple and blackberry pies. And I'm thinking like a um, farmhouse traditional looking setup for this one. Maybe even a chair. I like serving stuff on chairs. You would have seen in my other two books. I've done that quite often. It's just nice and rustic. So let's have a look for some wooden stuff. Simon, I'm thinking something quite traditional for these apple and blackberry pies. Uh -huh. Farmhouse yeah. vibes. Farmhouse vibes. Maybe yeah. something like this yeah. uh, with a chair underneath it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to individually plate them up. So we yeah. have like three plates, mm -hmm. maybe like a table setup, top down. Mm -hmm. Top down because I can angle them so that you can see the black Maybe high but not dead on top. Yeah, okay. To see a but bit. I would like to be quite far away, almost mm -hmm. like that pasta one we mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. So we also need to make sure when we're doing the book, because we're doing like over 70 pictures, something like that, we need to make sure that we're not using the same props. Mm -hmm. So this is our farmhouse style table. Yeah. We'll have, a, if we could get the corner mm -hmm. in, I mean, maybe chair. a chair maybe here, yep. one plate here, mm -hmm. one plate there, and one plate there, mm -hmm. but high enough so someone could almost sit underneath it. All right, and I'll choose some okay, plates and bowls. Yeah. I'm thinking these two. Um, I think that most cookbook authors and chefs, they actually just hand their recipes in to the publisher. Then they get a food stylist to actually plate all the food up for them and cook it for them. I can't do that. I know it's a long process cooking all this food and styling it, but for me, I get so much of my personality across. And if I wasn't here, then that food I wouldn't class as my own because I haven't I haven't presented it, I haven't cooked it. So um, it's very important for me to be here and just putting my personality on the plate, basically. This is my art and this is my favorite part of it, plating up. It has to taste good too. Done. I want to eat it. So I'm thinking maybe. Oh yeah. Actually, that's nice on that color, isn't it? Yeah. Squash, that orange, vibrant color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That'd be beautiful. That's and then a shot like this, yeah. and that's all I really want to see. Yeah. Stuffed squash. When they go into that camera. They're gonna look astonishing. Yeah, yes. that way. See, I told you. you. What about a bit more? I said they don't look very good in real life, but wait till they get on bloody camera. <laughs> Food styling at its best. Then I'll get the dustpan and brush. <laughs> I was just thinking as I do that, then yeah. I'm making such a mess. Looks Sorry. Mmm. Like yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Ooh. I guess they might be. They might just go. That is beautiful. 
the blue of that little ball actually works beautifully with nice. that. I'm just yeah. thinking, it's just come out of the oven. This is how to expertly rag. Yeah. Actually, that's a terrible word to use. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. Boom. Does that shoot for real? Yeah. Let's lock up the mirror. Everyone still. Action. Come and have a look at this camera. Yep. That might be that. The camera can see even bigger. All right, no more looking. Oh yeah. <laughs> Top secret. <laughs> okay, there we go guys. There's a little insight in how, into how we make a cookbook. Well, I make a cookbook anyway with the legendary Simon Smith there. Thank you, Simon, for pressing the button. <laughs> it is way more than that, definitely. Makes this food come to life. And that's why I think the books that I do are so vibrant and um, really just show my personality through the food, which is great. Can't wait for this book to come out. It's gonna be the biggest and best book I've ever done. Coming soon, Plants Only Kitchen. You're gonna love it, I promise. See you soon with another recipe, with a new, another one, a recipe video soon. See you.